open any browser safari or uh, google chrome just put your mail and select your google calendar and once the calendar opens you can schedule whatever uh, whenever you want to start your google meet so today is 31 so you select the date then go to create then you make it as a trial give a heading and what time you want to post so it's on 31st now it's will be selecting a time as around 10 a.m. in the morning and you can watch it for a one hour meeting and you can give at Google Meet video conferencing and you can see since it is a personal mail ID, you can use only for 100 participants. If the same is used as the G Suit mail ID, it will be a any academic institution will be able to sponsor the faculty with the DSUIT mail ID. If you use that, you can post for 250 participants. So now we are scheduled it. Now what your next option is, you have to go for more options. Then you select, instead of busy, you select it as free. Then instead of default visibility, you go and select it as public. Why we are selecting this means then only any participant can attend your any participant with Gmail account can attend your meeting. Otherwise, the visibility will be restricted to restricted participants or only to the guests whom you are inviting. So all these problems will be there. Then you may not be able to admit the guests. At the same time, if you have a few guests to attend the meeting, for example, 10 or 15 people you are inviting, then you can directly add the guest email IDs here. Otherwise, you can share the link directly if you have a large volume of guests. So you save this and the calendar is saved just give a click then this is the button which you can copy that is the google id will be copied and you can share it in your whatsapp email gmail anything so the participants will be able to join your meeting on the particular time so this is how we are going to schedule a google meeting using the google calendar once it is done next job i'm going to teach you is a software called as OBS and YouTube channel. First, we go to the YouTube channel. What you're going to do is, again, you go to your personal mail ID, which in which your YouTube channel is active. For me, it is my personal mail ID, where you go to the YouTube channel. If, in the YouTube channel, if the go live option is not available for you, you just click on the go live option and it will ask your telephone number and it'll send a code and it will make you available within the service will be available for you in 24 hours for me since i'm using this youtube channel for a lo quite longer period of time for various purposes the channel is always open so what i have to do is it's very simple i have to create an event and create a steam key for example i'm going to this is ida trial I'm going to create a thing and here also you can select the three options. One is public, unlisted and private. Private only I can see, unlisted only the guest whom you are sending the link and public anyone with this can see. So similarly, you can schedule this for a later time or schedule it for tomorrow or day after 15 days later. And if you want to upload any thumbnail, that is any images related to the event that you can upload as a JPEG image. And the more important thing is, you should go with the no option here because the audience, whether it's asking whether you, this video is made for kids, no, you have to select. And sometimes you want to give an age restriction, it can be given for age restriction, but in this case, it is not required. So you create a Steam key. So now let's wait for the Steam key to be created by the YouTube. And you can see this, that is the Steam key is created and it is password protected. So it is not viewing. The Steam key is very, very important. So this should not be disclosed to anybody. So you can copy the Steam key and you can, this Steam key only you are going to install or you're going to place it in the OBS software. Okay. Then after this, you can go to a manage button where you can see your event has been created. That is IDA trial. And if you click this, you'll get a shareable link. This link only you are going to share it with your audience, not the Steam key. Steam key is for the person who is hosting the conference or the webinar. The shareable link is for the person who is going to view your thing. 
So this key can be, when you schedule it for a later date, any time you can get the shareable link and a day before or one day or two days or whenever you want to share, you can share this shareable link to the audience. So now it's done with your YouTube studio. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open the software called as OPS. That is nothing but open broadcast software. So let's wait for the software to open. Now what I have to do is go to the settings of the software where you get a steam. In this use, this software can be used for streaming in Twitch, in YouTube, in Facebook, and very Twitter and so on. So for our purpose, it's going to be YouTube channel. And already I pasted my Steam key here. So nothing going, I'm going to do it here. Just I'm going to click OK and get back. Now, there is an option called as window capture and a scene in this. So how to do this window capture is just nothing but Yes, you add this test sign. It will ask for a video capture or a window capture. Video capture means my face will come live on the screen. But now I want a window capture. So I have to do the window capture. Before doing this, which window I need to capture that has to be in open mode. So I'm going to going back to my Google Meet. That is the window which you are going to capture. Because so opening the Google Meet, usually the Google Meet works fine in your Chrome software rather than your other software, sorry, Chrome browser rather than your other browsers. So what you have to do is open the Google Meet, which you have created using your calendar, just a meet and the start a meeting, it will be done. So now what I'm going to do is, this window is going to be in open mode and I'm going to capture this window. So make a window capture, then Wait for that window. In this, now you select this Google Meet window and the window is open. So in this, how much ever you want to capture the screen. You want to capture a smaller version or a bigger version of the screen, you can zoom the screen to the option. So that the same thing will be zoomed here in your YouTube channel. So now click OK, now you have captured the window. Now what you're going to do is, Click the button, start streaming, and wait for three to four minutes so that you'll be going live in your YouTube channel. Now, you search for the YouTube channel where you have steamed the option. Now, I'm going to do it as a previous one. I'm not going to do it with the idea one because I have put the steam key for your thing. So, I have to wait for the steam to happen. And you can see the preview of your Google Meet here. And once the button goes blue, so you can go live. So the Google Meet, whatever is happening in your Chrome browser will be live in the go live if you click the button go live option. This is your go live thing. 